Hi guys, it's Rune, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 67 on SO exam P. So we'll pause the video real quick and try to spam yourself. Okay, as I'm attempting it, let's just dive right in. So a baseball team has to schedule its opening for April 1st. So April 1st is the first day right and they tell you that insurance company determines what number of consecutive days of rain beginning on april 1st so april 1st is actually the first like day right and then on that first day they're gonna pay a thousand dollars and on the second day they're gonna pay two thousand dollars right april 2nd let's say and on the third day, because the maximum they pay is for up to two days, the maximum they're going to pay is $2,000. We can think of this as like a thousand times the probability that it's going to rain on day one, plus 2,000 times the probability it's going to rain on two, three, four, so on, so on, so on. Okay, so then the first part right here is quite easy, right? Probability, we know Poisson distribution has a distribution. For probability of k, x is equal to little k. This is equal to e to the negative lambda, lambda to the x for x factorial. Or it should have been x. <laughs> Anyways, so we know that this is equal to, and we're first trying to find the expectation of x. So we can just multiply the probability that it's going to happen times the value that's going to happen. So it's going to be 1,000 times the probability of 1. It's going to be e to the negative 0.6 times 0 0.6 to the 1 over 1 factorial plus 2,000 times, okay, this is essentially everything, right? And we know all probability has to add up to 1. It's basically everything but the probability of 0 and a probability of 1. So it's going to be 1 minus probability of 0 minus probability of 1, which is equal to 2,000, 1 minus probability of 0, which is 0 0.6, so 0 divided by 0 factorial minus e to the negative 0 0.6 times 0 0.6. 573.089. We're actually find, trying to find the standard deviation of x. So this is equal to the square root of variance of x. And then we also know that variance of x is equal to the expectation, the second moment, minus the first moment squared. So we actually have to find the second moment, right? e of x squared. The good thing is this is just squared of that x here, right? So it's going to be equal to 1,000 squared e to the negative 0 0.6, 0 0.6, plus 2,000 squared times this whole thing, 1 minus e to the negative 0.6, minus 0.6 e to the negative 0.6. Ooh, I don't know what's happening over here. Which is equal to 0 0.81689. So plugging it back in our formula, you get 81689.2.5107 minus 573 squared, which is approximately equal to 698.899, also equivalent to 699, our answer B. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!